Cycling with headphones safe. This is actually a pretty controversial topic. Some people do it all the time, some people never do it, and I myself lie somewhere in the middle. Welcome to Too Afraid to Ask, where the only stupid questions are the ones that you don't ask. What's up? I'm Zach Lardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous and subscribe for more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one. Of course, this video is all my opinion. If you agree or disagree with my opinion, let me know in the comments and let's have an intelligent discussion about whether people should wear headphones while riding their bikes. For steel bikes that weigh well under 20 pounds or nine kilograms that you can customize to be your dream bike right out of the box, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. To answer the question of whether you should wear headphones while riding your bike, we first need to have an accurate perspective of how dangerous riding your bike is in the first place. When you're riding your bike out on the roads, it's a pretty dangerous place to be. You're at the bottom of the food chain since you don't have a seatbelt and there's no metal around you. Meanwhile, cars are 3,000 pounds projectiles that travel at high speeds. The best case scenario, drivers piloting these 3,000 pound metal projectiles will see you, give you a lot of space, and respect you as a cyclist. And the worst case scenario, they don't see you. And unfortunately, that happens way too often. Right around the corner from the house that I grew up in, a man wearing a helmet and with flashing headlights and taillights was biking up an overpass with a share of the road sign, no bike lane. A careless driver behind him hit him. He went over the roof of their car and then a truck behind that car then ran him over and he unfortunately passed away. Right around the corner from where I grew up, in a sleepy California suburb on a street that I ride regularly. A cyclist just like me who was abiding the law and took all necessary precautions to stay safe was hit by a careless driver and killed. Remember, cyclists are the most vulnerable people out on the road. And according to the CDC, every single day, nine people are killed by distracted driving and 1,000 people are injured by distracted driving. That's not even including the statistics for sleep deprived driving and drunk driving. The road's a dangerous place and when you're on a bike, you're the most vulnerable. And the worst part is in the minds of drivers, Cyclists are just an annoyance, an obstacle between them and their destination. And this is all when people are literally dying and getting killed by these careless drivers. If you're interested in this topic, Phil Gaiman, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he made a really good video that you can check out here about this. The reality is it's really easy to die on the bike even if you're a law-abiding citizen and take every single safety precaution to keep yourself safe. Your ears are a very important tool for your situational awareness and you need to treat your ears like eyes on the back of your head that can keep a lookout on what's going on in the traffic behind you. Needlessly depriving yourself of this key sense increases your likelihood of getting into an accident. Cycling is dangerous enough, so do everything you can to keep yourself safe. A good place to start is to check your local laws. In California, it's legal for cyclists to wear headphones as long as it's only over one ear and as long as the headphones aren't noise isolating in any way. But even if it is legal to wear headphones in your location over both ears, I still don't think it's a good idea and you should have at least one ear open to keep a lookout on what's going on around you. Bluetooth speakers and bone conduction headphones are alternatives to headphones that I haven't tried, which supposedly give you more situational awareness. If you really want to listen to something while you're riding, you, you might want to look into that and see if it works for you. But again, I never recommend having both ears covered. When you're not listening to your surrounding, you're relying purely on your sight and you need to be really diligent about keeping a lookout on what's going on around you. That also limits your situational awareness to what you can see. There's so much about the flow of traffic that comes from listening, like listening to if a car is in your blind spot before you check it or listening to the flow of traffic up ahead or even being able to hear if there's an accident near you. Every split second counts when you're riding in traffic. It could be the difference of life or death. And human reaction time is a split second faster with hearing compared to sight. So if you want to stay safe, keep at least one ear open and listening to your environment. But I recommend that you never wear headphones while riding in heavy or even moderate traffic. I personally only wear headphones in about 5% of my rides. The rides that are really long and predominantly take place on segregated bike trails or on low traffic roads that have bike lanes. And even if I am wearing my headphones out on a ride, I'll still take a moment to pause my music if I do find myself in an area with heavier traffic. Of course, the safest bet is to never wear headphones while you're riding your bike. Whenever you wear headphones and limit your situational awareness, that's sacrificing your safety purely for entertainment, which seems like a bad deal to me. 
Remember, you only die once. If you choose to use headphones, do so responsibly. Keep one ear open, don't blast your music, and only wear it in safe situations like on segregated bike trails. Also ask yourself, why do you want to use headphones while riding your bike, and do they fit within your goals? And ask yourself if those reasons are good enough to risk your safety. We can argue all day about whether riding with headphones is safe, but there's no arguing with getting hit by a 3,000 pounds metal projectile traveling at 45 miles an hour that hit you because you forgot to check your blind spot with your eyes. Here's some food for thought. If riding your bike by itself isn't enough for you and you feel that you have the need to listen to music or a podcast or an audiobook while you ride your bike, maybe you should look for a new hobby. Because if riding a bike isn't fun for you by itself, cycling doesn't sound like it's for you. I urge you to be very conservative with your use of headphones while riding. Have good judgment and be reasonably dangerous. Question of the day, what are your thoughts about cycling with headphones, how to best do it safely, whether it's safe at all? Let me know in the comments. And if you have a cycling question that you're too afraid to ask, be sure to ask that in the comments as well and I'll address it in a future video. Speaking of the future, and to a long future of us riding bikes and just talking about bikes, our channel sponsor Wabi Cycles is the epitome of what makes cycling fun. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give you the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with Master Craftsman right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike that you'll love. This amounts to efficient, elegant, and timeless bikes that you can get from a passionate group of fellow cyclists. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special, weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a completely steel lugged frame set that has no carbon components. That weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though. It results in the best riding experience that I've ever had on a bike with a snappy, responsive, and lively bike that only top shelf steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride Wallace my Wabi Special as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia. So if you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description because it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to the perfect bike. If you found this video interesting or helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you think it sucked, be sure to give it a thumbs down. If you want more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't ridden your bike today, stop watching me right now because life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.